Hello, everyone. So welcome to today's session, which is on multi-parameter based LR sets discussion. This session is brought to you by me, Nilanjan Dutta, a Karen Ritt person, Tyler, and one of the top most educators on an academy and an academy plus for a CAT and MB exams segment. So today's session being a free flight session, I request all of you to kindly share the session link with all your friends and fellow CAT and MB exam aspirants so that more and more people can be part of today's session. So kindly take out the next one, two minutes to share the session link with various CAT preparation groups and forums. Meanwhile, let's get started with today's session. So, good evening, Ishatwa, Akshata, Abhishek, Mahima, Anushka, Anket, Sangeeta, Satya. So, good evening to all of you. This is a brief about myself. As you all know, I'm a cat as well as a Diala section 100 person Tyler. Also, I'm conducting this plus course for CAT for DILR where batch one has already started. The link for the same has been shared in the chat window on the right hand side. So do make sure that all of you are going and attending each and every session live. The next session is scheduled for tomorrow, Saturday at 10 a.m. So those of you, most of you already subscribed what I can think and those couple of you who have not yet subscribed, do make sure that you're clicking on this link and you're subscribing as soon as possible. Remember, this course can give you a DLR scores, a plus 20, 25 marks boost. To be a part of it, what you need to do is be a part of the 12-month Anacademy Plus subscription plan. And when you're using that, not only do you get 58% off, but you get an additional discount on using a discount code Nilanjan Dutta while subscribing. Remember, there's no space between the lunch and data in the discount code on a 12 month subscription plan. They'll also give you access to the Quants Live classes as well as the strategy courses for CAT. The link of that has also been shared in the chat window on the right hand side. You can click on this link and go and subscribe to avail the discount. Just make sure that you're going to this referral code section after selecting the 12 month subscription plan. Here in this code, you enter in the lunch and data. There's no space for the lunch and data in the code. Click on apply. You'll see apply successfully, and it is good to go. Hope to see all of you subscribing, but subscribe before Saturday, that is tomorrow, 10 a.m. Meanwhile, let's get started with the first set as part of today's multi parameter based LR sets. So good evening, Nihal, never give up, Nitesh, Jayastri, Tapas, Pranav, Gaurav. So this is the first set. So in this set, as you can see, there are multiple parameters involved. They are talking about the engineering colleges. They are talking about the first name of the students. They are talking about the surname of the students. And they are also talking about the college ratings. So basically, four broad parameters you need to work on. Along with there's another parameter, there's a gender parameter where three of them of the five students are marked as females, denoted by Miss. So five particular parameters to work with: name of the college, first name, surname, college name and ranking, as well as the gender of the student. So five parameters to work with to try solving this set. Remember, you have the following clues that you can use to try and solve the set. But first thing that you should be doing in all such discussions is the first one minute should be spent in going through all the questions and options that is very useful in topics which involve multi parameters, especially sets like these, which are challenging with four or five parameters. So the first question is saying, which is the correct combination of first name and surname. So there's a there's a session which is scheduled for tomorrow. So do make sure you're attending that, Ishatwa. 
Here's the link. Just click on that Saturday tomorrow. That is 10 a.m. Attend that. Also, there's a new batch that I'm starting on Sunday at 12 noon. So there you also you can be part of it. Ankit, there is a WhatsApp group. What you can do is whoever wants to be part of the WhatsApp group, they can ping me at this number. And I'll add you to the group. Okay. So the first question is saying, but just make sure once I share with you the group link, you add a lot of your friends to the groups as well. Okay. The cat. So that a lot of people are part of the group, all cat aspirants. The first question is saying, which option gives a possible student institute combination? Second one is saying, Mohan Gupta may have joined which of these colleges? Then the question is talked about the correct combination of first name and surname. What happened, Harsh? The next question is saying, in which college did Priya study? And the last question is about the person with surname Sanyal was who and is studying in which college? So these are the five questions are set. So try and take around five, six minutes to try and solve the set before I show you all the easiest approach to solving this set. Yes, Harsh, what is your question? Meanwhile, a request to everybody, please share the session link with all your friends and fellow CAT aspirants so that they can be part of today's free session. Yes, Harsh, what is your question? Harsh, uh, this is for CAT. So the session is for CAT. This is not for class 10. So we request you to discuss this on the Anacademy app with the relevant set of uh, educators who are teaching for class 9 to 12. They can guide you better. No issues, uh, Javed. Um, I've spammed him. I've marked him as spam. So no worries. So others will continue uh, solving this set. So focus on the questions in the set because the set might be a little challenging given that there are so many parameters involved.
गुड इवनिंग गोपाल निमेश अमन जवेद सुचि शशिधर तो ट्राई सॉल्विंग द सेट इन द नेक्स्ट फाइव सिक्स मिनट्स गुड इवनिंग कारो Do the questions in the set. Correct combination of first name and surnames. Which of the possible is a student institute combination? Mohan Gupta may have joined which of these colleges? In which college did Priya study? And the last one is the person with surname Sanyal was which of them? So the most important thing in multi-parameter based LR. is the structure of the table that you are forming which is including the multiple parameters and in the table the most important thing is which parameter are you choosing as your column header so can anybody tell me which of these parameters should be the column header name of the colleges first name surname college rating or the gender which of these five parameters should be selected as the column header while solving this set anybody so nial is saying name of college shashidhar is saying name of college anybody else others what should be the name of the column header by name satya you mean first name or surname or a name of the college surname okay incidentally whenever you solve a multi parameter based set your column header should be one such parameter that you can arrange in a linear fashion linear fashion means either in ascending or in descending order which is why what we are doing is the column header we are keeping not college name or surname or first name we are keeping the column header as the college rating what are the advantage of doing that simple there are questions there are clues in the set for example the techno institute had a higher rating than the college where priya studied what does the higher rating mean higher rating means to the right so anything which says higher rating it means to the right anything which means lower rating it means to the left so it's easier to visualize the clues if you are arranging the column headers in such something which is arrangeable in a linear sequence that is ascending or descending order from left to right for example lower rating would mean to the left higher rating would mean to the right and so on so that is how it is easier to arrange them which is why it's always wise to arrange them in terms of the column headers college ratings also it's mentioned that there is only one college is rated as three star and only one college is rated as five star which means out of the five you have one three star college one five star college and the remaining three are all four star colleges is this clear now with this hint in mind try looking forward to solving the set now the set will become relatively simpler also Whenever you're getting stuck in the set, try using the questions to your advantage. Good 
गुड इवनिंग मनीष शुभायन गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग राखी तो ट्राई सॉल्विंग द सेट हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू आर डन विद द सेट Anybody who finished with the set? If you are finished with the set, solving the set, you can mark yes. You are finished with solving the set. You can mark yes. no issue shubhan just make sure from tomorrow session onwards be on time so tomorrow again we have a session at 9 pm just make sure that for that session all of you are on time so the link for that session has been shared in the chat window there is also a free session tomorrow at 9 pm so do make sure that all of you are attending that session i have just shared the link in the chat window Good evening, Ayn Vila. Use this clue that I've given you all already. That is the college rating of the column header, and try solving the set. let's go to the questions let's make the poll active so i'll start answering using the poll first question is saying the person with surname shanyal was which of these i made the poll active answers you need not have completely solved the set based on whatever you've solved which is the most likely answer so i'm getting three different answers a c and d next one in which college did priya study Next one Mohan Gupta may have joined which of these colleges Good evening Trupti Just make sure all those who are joining late for tomorrow session. We are again having a free session tomorrow at 9 p.m. The link I've shared in the chat window. Just make sure that tomorrow's special class at 9 p.m. All of you are joining on time. Also, those of you who want to be added to the group so that you all can get notifications on any of the special classes or on the plus course or on the plus subscription descriptions you can ping me at this number if you want to be added to the group this one which option give the possible student institute combination
And the first one is what are the correct combination of first name and surnames? Good evening, Tanu. So now let us look at how to go about solving this set. So the first thing we've done is we've kept a column header as the college ratings because that is something you can arrange in a linear sequence. So anything which says lower ratings will be to the left, higher rating will be to the right. Also the breakup has been given. One college rated as three star, one college rated as five star, which means the remaining three colleges are four star. So we've got one three star column, one five star column, and three four star college rating columns. The next thing you do is put in all the direct clues that are available in the set. So anybody, what are the direct clues available in the set that I can put in against the ratings? Good evening, Jagannath. One of the easiest direct clues is the Bala College was a five star college. So what I do is I mark it as Bala. Bala is a five star college. Also, it says the Techno Institute had a higher rating than the college where Priya studied. Can anybody tell me what must be Techno Institute rating? What must be Priya's college rating? Given that there's only one five star college and that is Bala, so definitely Techno Institute is not the five-star college. So the only option for Techno Institute now is to be the four-star college. But since it has a higher rating than the college where Priya studied, Priya's college must be less than four-star. So that means there's only one option. That is a three-star college is where Priya studied. So now the problem starts here. The moment you plug in Bala the five star college and Priya the three star college, you suddenly realize that there is no more clues left in the set and now you're stuck in the set. And this is the reason why possibly most of you have difficulty in solving this or came up with mostly wrong answers when I made the poll active. So what do we do in such a situation? Anybody? What do you do in such a situation when you're getting stuck in a set? Anybody, what do we do in a situation when you're getting stuck in a set? Simple, start using the questions and options. Why? And that is the reason why I told you in the first one minute of every set, you should be looking at question options. Possibility check, hit and trial is something which you should try later on. That is not what should be your first aim. Your first aim should be use clues that you can get from the questions and options. This is why I told you first one minute of every set, go through all the questions and options. So for example, this question says, which option gives a possible student institute combination? If you look at the options, you'll find four of the options have Priya as Anipal and only one option has Priya as Techno. But it already says Techno has a higher rating than the college where Priya studied, which means one thing is for sure, the answer is not option C. Somebody wondering at how this is helping us because we are still left with four out of five options but this is where you'll tend to miss the possibility there is this set is not just about one question this set is about five questions and solving the set yes i did not get the answer to this question but what i've got an answer is that priya belongs to anipal that combination i've got so now what i can do is Against Priya, I can mark the college name 
as Anipal, and since Miss Reddy studied at Anipal, I can mark the column as Priya Reddy studied at Anipal. Suddenly, I've given myself additional clues to work with in the set. And this is where things but you make your life a lot easier in the set. Remember in CAT, every question has approximately four options, which means 16 additional clues in the set. And here it was a wrong option, which has helped you get the additional clue. Another thing, which is even bigger than this. This question's option did not just help you forgive this value, but if you remember, there was another direct question in the set, and that was in which college did Priya study? Now, if I look back, I can say Priya must have studied at Anipal. So look, one question's options may not just help you answer that particular question, and that is where DILR is so interesting. One particular question's options can help you answer options of other questions in the set. Why? Because they are pertaining to the same data set. Is it clear how we mark the answer as Priya studies in Anipal? So at least these one or two questions which can be done, try and do them even if you are not able to solve the set. Good evening, Kishan Saloni. Is this clear to everybody? Let's move on. The moment we get Anipal here and Bala here, the remaining three colleges, Deccan, Techno and Chemical must be your four star colleges. So what we do is we've kept the three star of Anipal, five star of Bala, the remaining three are four star colleges. Now it says the chemical college was rated with one star less than the college where Sanyal studied. Remember, I did not have a clue on chemical college. It's because I used the clue of Priya and Anipal that I was able to identify chemical college as four star, which means now I can identify who is Sanyal. Can anybody tell me in which college does Sanyal study? So if chemical college is four star, Sanyal must be studying in the five star college, which is Bala. Pause. Pause. Why? If you remember, in the first one minute, you had read a direct question which said the person with surname Sanyal was. But unfortunately, we haven't been able to solve for the first name but still try answering this question based on whatever we filled in this table. Look at the options. The person with surname Sanyal. Note, we still do not know the first name, but what we know, Sanya is in Bala. There's only one option with Bala, so mark the answer as option B. Two out of five done in a difficult set. Even after giving 10, 12 minutes, people who are not being able to solve. So at least get these two, three questions correct in every set. Also, I've got an additional clue. What is that? Sanyal's first name is Swati. So now what I can do is I've got my additional clue that Swati's first, Sanyal's first name is Swati. So that will help my and make my job a lot simpler. So wherever you're getting clues from the options of the questions, use them to your advantage. This is the entire reason why in the first one minute you instructed definitely go through all the questions and options in the set. Remember this, even if you don't do it, 
An Academy Plus students of the ILR will definitely do it. So that is how they've been trained through all my live classes. So make sure that you are also doing the same thing. Two out of five done in a difficult set. Let's move on to the third question. The third question is talking about Mohan Gupta may have joined which of these colleges? You already know five star colleges, Swati Sanyal. So eliminate the five star college options. So Mohan Gupta must have joined any one of these four star colleges, but we do not know which. But one thing we know, Anipal is Priya. Again, something that we got from another question. So now we are down to just two options. That is, Mohan Gupta is either chemical or techno. So what do you do? Simply look into the set for clues on chemical and techno. If I look for clues on chemical and techno, it says techno had a higher rating. And it says Sara joined Techno. The moment you see Sara joined Techno, automatically you know the answer is not Techno either, which means the answer has to be option D. The moment you're down to two options, look for clues. Any clue on chemical and Techno, it says Sara joined Techno, which automatically means Mohan Gupta must have joined Chemical College. That is the only option remaining. Interestingly, three out of five questions done. Even though 60% of the set is incomplete, 60% of the marks have been achieved despite 60% of the set being incomplete. And that to the 60% that we've, 40% that we've completed have been done using the questions and options. Is this approach clear on how we are using the question options to solve multi-parameter based LR sets. Is this clear to everybody? Just make sure you're understanding this approach. If you're not facing any difficulty, you can ask. And this is not just that it happens holds for DILR. Tomorrow I have a quant session where again I'll be teaching you a lot of these tricks at 9 p.m. It's a free session, but again I'm teaching a lot of these tricks on how you can do it. So make sure you're attending that free session as well. So three out of five are done. I understand that 60% of the set is still incomplete, but let us still move on to the fourth question. The fourth question is, which are the correct combination of first name and surname? Can, can anybody look at this incomplete set and try and answer which of the following is a correct combination? Note, we just know Priya Reddy, that is one thing we have, and the other is Swati Sanyal. We just know Priya Reddy and Swati Sanyal. So the moment you see Priya Chatterjee, eliminate immediately. Similarly, Swati Reddy and Sara Reddy, eliminate immediately. So the moment you had got the first clue in the set that was on Priya Reddy and Anipal, you could have eliminated four options and marked the answer as option E. Effectively, four out of five questions done in the set and note this question has become in the past few years previous year question the previous year question these are the kind of options you've been getting in your exam in your mocks day in day out but just because the set is difficult most of you have been failing four out of five questions could have been solved even though 61 a set is blank now the question is, there's only one question remaining. Is it worth putting in an effort to solve the entire set for one question? What do you guys think? 
should we should, is it wise to waste time to solve only one question remaining is it wise to solve the entire set yes or no is it wise to solve yes or no the entire set Remember, you've already done yourself a very good job. And for one question, solving it with your set is meaningless. So do not waste time trying to solve that question. But yes, based on whatever you've solved, look at that question, whichever is the most likely option, mark that and leave. Don't leave the question blank. Just look at the question. Whatever the most likely option, just mark that and leave. So just look at these options and see whatever we've solved, which are the most likely options, mark one of them and leave. Which of the following is a possible student institute combination? Good evening, Jyoti. Remember, we just have two things Priya Anipal, Swati, Bala. Unfortunately, Priya Anipal is there in four options, but the moment I see Swati, Bala, which is again, I did not solve the Swati clue. I got the Swati clue from the Bala Sanyal questions right option so that is why i say focus on using the options to solve the set as well so swati deccan eliminate sara bala eliminate swati deccan eliminate the answer has to be option b is this clear to everybody this approach in fact we've got all five questions done in the set and that to a difficult set you can manage to do all of them all you need is to play the options to your advantage wisely and remember in cat you have four questions four options the more difficult the set the easier the question options become because then you end up having around 16 additional clues in the set so even if you give very few clues in the actual set you end up giving 16 additional clues is not just the right options that matter the wrong options also help because remember ultimately all the questions are on the same data set any questions on the set how we solve If you want to master these kind of approaches, then make sure that you're being part of the DILR live classes. DILR live classes, batch one has already just started. So the link I've shared in the chat window on the right hand side. So just go there, click and go there and make sure to subscribe or subscribe before the next class, which is tomorrow, Saturday at 10 a.m. Make sure you're being part of the sessions. To be added to the group, what you can do is the, subscribe immediately if you haven't yet. If you have already subscribed, ping me and I'll add you. If you've already subscribed, ping me and I'll add you. If you haven't already subscribed, subscribe to the 12 month subscription. Use the code Nilanchan Dutta while subscribing. And once you subscribe, share the screenshot of the fact that proof that you subscribe and i'll add you to the course but make sure that you're not missing any further classes the next session is on saturday 10 a.m i believe most of you already subscribed those of you not yet make sure you're subscribing before saturday 10 a.m use the code lunch that while subscribing note it'll also give you access to the live classes for quants as well as the toppers batch which will be going to be conducted by all the previous years 
cat toppers, including me. So this is where you go. You select your subscription plan. Here you enter the code. You click on apply. You say code applied successfully, and then you can check out. But make sure you're subscribing before Saturday tomorrow, 10 a.m. We also have a session on Sunday at 12 noon. So the link for the, that that session is also being shared in the chat window on the right hand side just make sure they're clicking and you're subscribing immediately if you haven't already let's move on to the next set good evening muhammad wajid kajal the second set for today's session is as follows so here we have seven female cat toppers ritika vaishnavi Preeta Anisha, Shavi Twisha, and Malvika. They'll be attending their only IM interview call from the top seven IMs. So the IMs are A to A, B, C, L, I, K, and S, and their interview dates are from Monday to Sunday in that sequence. We, however, do not know who had a call from which IM, what was the name of that topper, which day that inter that topper's interview was, and also the fact that they are from different graduation disciplines like fashion designing, engineering, hotel management, psychology, chemistry, commerce, and law. So you have the following information using which you need to be able to solve the entire set. As I've always said, the first one minute of every set should be spent on going through the question and options. The first Question is saying, the girl with an I am indoor call did a graduation in which discipline? The girl from commerce background has an I am call how many days before Vaishnavi did? The hotel man graduate has a call from which I am? And the last question is saying, which of these girls has an I am interview during the weekend that is Saturday? or Sunday. So try and take around five, six minutes to solve this set. Again, like the previous set, try use the, whenever you're getting stuck with the structured approach, try and use the question options to your advantage. Also choose your column headers wisely.
So try solving the set. Good evening, Vibhu. So anybody, what should be the column header? The column header should again be something in a range in a linear sequence, which is the day of the week. So anything which says before means this side, after means this side. For example, two days before means the gap of two days and to the left, two days after, three days after means gap of three days to the right, one day in between means one column in between and so on. So it makes all the using all the other parameters a lot simpler if your column header is something that you can use in a linear sequence. So all those things like this happened before three girls had interview between Malvika and Ritika and so on. All these type of clues become easier to work with if you're using this kind of a multi-parameter set structure. So try solving the set. Also, a lot of you have this question that whether we can use similar option-based approach for quants or not. So the answer is yes. In fact, if you look at CAD in the last few years, approximately 40 to 50%, 45% on average is the number of questions in each slot that can be solved using 30 seconds to one minute approaches at max but you all you need to do is be able to master these approaches one such session is a free session tomorrow at 9 pm with link i've shared in the chat window on the right hand side so do make sure again all of you are joining in to my academy channel at 9 pm tomorrow for the special class which is again a free session but this, this time inform all your friends to join in as well Good evening, Vishal. So try solving the set. So are you all done with solving the set? Can we move on to the questions or you'll need some more time? If you need more time, click no. If you're done with the set, say yes. If you're done with the set, mark yes. If you'll need more time, say no. Answers, which of these girls have their IM interview during the weekend, Saturday or Sunday? The poll is active.
the next one hotel management graduate have a call from which i am So let us look at how to go about solving this set. So the first thing is we've arranged them in terms of the column header of the day of the week. So we're going to arrange them in a linear sequence that is from Monday to Sunday. Now when it comes to direct clues, it says Anisha have interview on Thursday, engineering background. So against Thursday, we mark the name of Anisha, the graduate discipline as engineering now the good thing about Anisha is that she's in the exact middle of the sequence which means she's dividing the group into two halves that is Monday to the Wednesday three people Friday Saturday Sunday three which makes the set a lot more simpler because now it's a set of three two halves of three people each instead of having to arrange all six of them the other interesting thing is, so we need to look at who are the people who are before Anisha, who are the people who are after Anisha. So it says only three girls have the interview lined up between Malvik and Ritika, with Malvik having an interview before Ritika. The fact that there is a gap of three columns between Malvik and Ritika, that definitely means one thing, that Malvika must be belonging to the to first half whereas Ritika must belong to three second half because there is a gap of three columns between Malvika and Ritika doesn't matter whether Malvika and Ritika are Monday Friday or Tuesday Saturday or Wednesday Sunday combination but definitely Malvika will belong to the prior to Anisha half whereas Ritika will belong to the last three days half along with Malvika the other two people who've had the interview before Anisha is Preeta, who had it a few days before Anisha, and Preeta had it exactly the day before Savi, which means Preeta and Savi are the two other people who have the interviews before Anisha. The moment we get Malvika, Preeta, and Savi on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, it automatically means you have. For third, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, you have Ritika, Vaishnavi, and Twisha. So these are your three people for Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Is it clear? How we got the breakup? Malvika, Preeta, Sahavi are before. Anisha, Ritika, Vaishnavi, Twisha are after Anisha. Now the sequence of Malvika, Preeta, Savi must be either MPS, because remember Preeta has it exactly the day for Savi, so it must be either MPS or it can be PSM, because PS is a continuous sequence, because Preeta had it exactly the day before Savi. So that is where we have to figure out whether it's an MPS sequence or a PSM sequence. Next it says there is one girl who has interviewed between Anisha and the one with an IMK call. And the IMK call is from fashion designing background. So Fashion designing and IMK must be either Tuesday or Saturday, which is at a one-day interval with Thursday. But the problem is, I am Cozy Code and the fashion designing girl cannot be on Tuesday, because on Tuesday it must be either Savi or 
preta, irrespective of whether it's a PFM sequence or MPS sequence, it has to be either Savi or Preeta on Tuesday. But the problem is it says neither Preeta nor Savi have a K call, nor are they from fashion designing background. So hence, I am Kozi Kaur and fashion designing background must go in here on Saturday. It can never be on Tuesday. The moment we have Saturday, I am Kozi Kaur and fashion designing background, we can move on to the next set of clues. But before that, let us pause for one particular question. It says, Twisha has her IM interview just a day before a girl having her IM B interview. Remember, Ritika, Twisha, and Vaishnavi are the three people in Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Can anybody tell me on which day must Twisha have an interview, given that she has it just a day before the girl having her IM Bangalore interview? So which day must be Tw Twisha's interview? Which day must be Twisha's interview? Friday, Saturday or Sunday? Since the interview day before the girl having a I am Bangalore interview, it obviously cannot be Sunday because then Sunday the last day, so it cannot be before anybody else's then. It cannot be Friday either because Saturday is I am Kozi Kod, but her interview the day before I am Bangalore. So the only option for Twisha is have an interview on Saturday and the Sunday interview is for the I am Bangalore girl. So that is the only possibility remaining. The moment you mark I am Bangalore on Sunday, it says only two of the girls have interviews scheduled between Anisha and the one with an I am Calcutta call. So I am Calcutta call will be in such a manner that there is Two girls in between. So there is Aan Kakara here, Anisha here. Because remember, it cannot be on this side, but this side, two days gap, that is Sunday, which is already taken by I am Bangalore. So the I am Kakara call, girl must go and go to I am Kakara call, must be on Monday. Now, the moment you've got Twisha on Saturday, remember, there was a direct question which says, which of these girls have an interview during the weekend, Saturday or Sunday? The answer is easy to give, that is Twisha, because Twisha is the one on Saturday. But what is more important are the wrong answers. Why? Because Preeta is not the answer, Savi is not the answer, and since Twisha is the answer, so Ritika must also be an incorrect answer, which means Ritika's interview did not happen on Saturday nor on Sunday. If Ritika's interview did not happen on Saturday or Sunday, Ritika's only possibility is Friday. In that case, Vaishnavi will slot in to Sunday. Do you know what is that just done? Now suddenly you have all the clues working your way because it says only three girls between Malvika and Ritika. So if I take three girl columns in between, I get Malvika on Monday. The moment I get Malvika on Monday, now I know the sequence of Preeta and Savi has to be MPS because PSM cannot work anymore. So it is Malvika, Preeta, Savi as the sequence. So effectively, using this one particular wrong option in the set, what I've done is I've been able to solve the complete set of names and I've made the set so much more simpler for myself. Otherwise, the set where you would have been stuck for quite some time. Is this approach clear? How we got the names? And 
how we use the clue in the question. So make sure using the option, doesn't matter whether the question is the fourth question in the set or the third question in the set. You're supposed to go through all the four questions in the set before you attempt the set. So now that we've got all the names, not only have we got one right answer, but we've got the entire set of names in place. Now, having the names will be a lot more simpler because now you can easily put Malvika is from psychology background, Ritika is from chemistry background, and so on. So, so it becomes a little more easier set to work with. Next, let us try to solve the remaining things. That is the I am called in the graduate disciplines. So it says a lot of the clues here are on Preeta, as you can see. So remember, getting the answer on Preeta's location was very, very important. That was only because of the question which had Trisha and Ritika. So now if I look at the clues, it says only two girls have interviews between Preeta and the one who has an indoor interview. So two girls in between, which means indoor is here, that is Ritika. The moment you get indoor as Ritika, if you remember, there was a direct question in the set, which was talking about the, the girl from indoor have done a graduation in which discipline? So if we look back at that question, the girl from indoor have done a graduation in which discipline? We get the answer as chemistry, that is Ritika. So again, solve the questions on the go. Two questions should have been done easily without much effort. The remaining two questions are in hotel management and commerce background versus Vaishnavi. Next, it says, Preeta neither has an IMC call, nor A call, nor S call, which means the only option with Preeta is to get an L call. All sort of A and S, Onisha doesn't have an A call, which means Savi must be the one with an A call, Onisha must be the one with an I am Shillong call. So effectively, I've solved all the I am calls. Along with that, Preeta graduation discipline is not hotel management. It is not law either, which means the only choice for Preeta is to take a discipline as commerce. What does that mean? Now I can answer the question which says, how many days before Vaishnavi did the girl from commerce background have an interview? How many days before? One, two, three, four, five days before so the answer to that question will be five days before the girl from commerce background have an interview how many days before the answer will be option d that is five so now we are left with only one question remaining that is hotel management graduate is from which of these colleges s i b and L. So if I look here, hotel management is which one? F I B or L? So if I note, hotel management be either this or this, but the options are A and B. Are the given options in this question? There's only one option which matches. That is, I am Bangalore, which means you can answer that without wasting time trying to look for clues in the set. So effectively, we are done with all four questions in the set. And the moment we mark I am Bangalore Hotel Management, the remaining discipline, I am A, will go to law. So the broad idea is wherever you're getting stuck in the set, use the questions and options to your advantage to complete the set. Good evening, Naveen and Vishal. So is the set clear to everybody?
Any confusions anybody on the set? And the approach that we used? So all those who want to master these kind of approaches, do make sure that you are attending every session live as part of the Diala Live classes on an academy plus. They've been conducted by me, a CAD as well as a Diala, 100% Tyler. Link has been shared in the chat window on the right hand side. This can give you a plus 20, 25 marks boost to your Diala scores. So the link I've shared, to make sure they're clicking on it and you immediately attend, making sure they're attending the session on Saturday, 10 p.m. a.m. In case you haven't yet subscribed, go and subscribe by going to anacademy.com slash plus, select the 12 month subscription and subscribe immediately before 10 a.m. tomorrow. In case you have any confusions, you can reach out to me at 810-212-6799 for any discussion the Anacademy Plus subscription before subscribing or after subscribing, you want to get added to the groups, then you can do that. Use the discount code Nilanjan to subscribe. Remember, there's no space for Nilanjan and Dutta in the code. It'll also give you access to the Quants Live classes, including the upcoming Toppers batch that is starting in March. So one is through the 12 month subscription here in the referral code section. You enter the code Nilanjan Dutta, click on apply, and you are all good to go. Hope to see all of you attending the session on Saturday, 10 a.m. tomorrow and attending. There's another follow-up session on Sunday at 12 noon. So that link I've also shared in the chat window on the right hand side. Make sure you're going and subscribing as soon as possible, informing all your friends to subscribe as soon as possible by being a part of this Anacademy Plus Cat subscription. The 12 month subscription, what you to choose? And do not forget to use the discount code Nilanj and Dutta in the space for Nilanj and Dutta in the code. On that note, thank you, everybody, and happy learning.